Hello guys, welcome to Shexel tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at the Shexel basic safety auditing tool. Now, this tool has been designed for auditing organizations that are into small, you know, operations, very low risk activities, and yet they need to be audited according to uh, an acceptable audit criteria in order to ensure the adequacy of the management system to prevent workplace accident. Now, such organizations usually do not subscribe to the ISO standard because you all know the requirement of the ISO standard. When you're audit auditing an organization according to ISO standard, you have to use an ISO audit checklist. Now, here's the case organization doesn't conform to the ISO standard and yet they need to be audited. So, because their management, their operations is pretty much a low risk operations and their management system is likely to be a very simple management system, then you need to develop a very unique audit criteria that you can use to adequately, you know, assess the effectiveness of their management system. So this template actually makes life much easier. You wouldn't have to draft your own or design your own audit checklist. We've actually done the work for you. So without further ado, let's get straight into the features. Now, like all our tools, we have a table of contents that you can actually navigate within the workbook. And again, we have the approved list. This is where you would actually list all the root causes. We've already listed the root causes for you, but you have the option to actually add on. And then we have the action priority and the action status. So this is where you can continue to build a list of root causes. These root causes, you are going to use them along the line as you complete, you know, the checklist or you complete this tool. All right. So next is the audit scoring criteria. So we've actually categorized them under compliance, OFI, minor NC, major NC. Now NC simply means non-conformance. All right. So minor non-conformance, major non-conformance. And you have the definitions in here and the, the actions that you have, to, you have to take. All right. Now over here, we have the audit checklist. So this is the main audit criteria that you're going to use to audit such a, um, such a management system or such an organization that has very low operations so, or very low risk activity. So we have the various sections that you may want to look at. That's management leadership. And you have some relevant questions on the management leadership, worker participation, hazard identification and assessment, hazard prevention and control, training and awareness, evaluation and improvement, and contractor management. So this is a very interesting way of holding them you know, accountable to a particular criteria that does not conform to the ISO standard. Neither is it a very complex criteria. So low risk activities or low risk organizations can actually meet these standards or these criteria. Now, as you complete the checklist, you would have to indicate with X to denote whether it was a compliance or the, the response was a minor or a major non-conformance non or it's simply an OFI. And then again, you provide the audit evidence if there is to provide and automatically it's going to calculate the audit score and a percentage compliance. Now, as you complete this checklist, there is a summary, um, summary sheet or summary table that's actually uh, provides all the summary of the of the of the number of of the audit findings basically so the number of compliance number of minor nc major nc and ofi and then to estimate the percentage compliance so this then becomes the source document for or the source table for the various reports that you're going to see in there now over here is the Corrective and preventive action tracker and an action plan. All right, so just a three, you know, basically template I've brought together. Non-conformance. So all the major and minor non-conformance get transferred on here, and you have the option to now select from the drop down for the root cause. If the root cause is in here, you need to build, add on to the list on the approved list. All right, so you continue to update here, in order to be able to select the root cause from this drop down list. All right, and then based on the root cause, you're going to provide a corrective action and preventive action, assign a person responsible, set a target date, and the due dates are going to be tracked for you automatically. So you have the option to also indicate as the action priority, whether it's a high, low, or medium, and the action status, whether it has been closed or open. Now, once an action is closed, that's what you're going to see. When it is closed, then the, the, the due dates are not going to be tracked for you but as long as they remain opened, then they are going to be tracked for you. All right. So this is something that is like a continuously update until you close the action. Now over here is an audit report. This is a unique um, template for those who do, who may want to utilize this 
you know this template for their audit report if you have your own template that's good you can use that and of course this is the main excitement about the tool the fact that after you do your audits you know providing all those responses automatically we get to see the performance of the organization on a dashboard so according to the various elements that we've talked about you're going to see the percentage levels of compliance and then again you're going to see the the number of audit findings all right according to the various elements of a, an, ad an adequate management system now over here you can tell the number of audit questions the number that are compliant the number of questions that were found to be major non-compliant minor non-compliant or non-conformance they're the same thing and ofi all right so we have this slicer here that you can actually use you know to basically drill down to various sections if you want or you can actually select all of them um, so over here we have the safety compliance this, this is actually the graph that we use to design this part of the dashboard so rather than copying this entire dashboard to send us reports you may want to utilize some of these you know chart for your own audit reports or for for internal reporting purpose you want to share an information about the performance you can simply copy the graph rather than to send the entire worksheet or workbook or to send the entire dashboard all right so the same applies to this as well in terms of the audit findings according to various elements that we have audited and then we have the summary of the findings as well according to major minor i mean compliance minor nc major nc or ofi and then again um, from the action tracker here, the non-conformance kappa and action plan sheet here, all the find um, the actions that are found to be open or closed, you're gonna see them here, and you can tell that we have 51 actions that are still open or closed, and one is closed. So, um, to show you how to use this tool, very, very simple, um, basically. First and foremost, take note that we provided the password for you. So if you want to change the logo, you simply, you know, unprotect the worksheet and then change the logo. And if you want to rename Shexel, you need to unprotect the workbook structure with a password in here. And then you can now rename the sheet. Once you unprotect the workbook structure, you can be able to add on multiple uh, additional sheets if you want. And that gives you a lot more control. Now, as I did mention, you would have to provide all these responses. So really to start using the tool, it's as simple as getting rid of all these responses. So I'm gonna get rid of all of them. Really, really quick. And thank God there are not so many of them. So I'll, I'll just smash, you know, uh, smash them out real quick. And potentially. All right, so now that I've gotten rid of all our responses, um, you realize they are still okay here it's already gone that is perfect but here um i'm going to show you something because you just have to take note this is how you're going to see it's still there it hasn't gone yet because one important action we haven't done that is to go to the data tab make sure you click outside in any of the cell so that the data tab will be active and then you click on refresh all and that's what happens everything just vanishes within the workbook you realize that all these reports are now gone because these are all connected to the the this very audit summary sheet all right now to further clean it up for our own data we need to go into the action plan sheet all right so nc kappa and action plan sheet and take note that these ones populated automatically based on the non-conformance all right and we had to manually now select the drop down from the drop down list the root cause and the corrective action and the person responsible so what that means is that we need to now take our time to delete all these entries all right so i'll get rid of them because there's no non-conformance or non-compliance or whatever. So you just have to make sure all these ones are also out of the sheet. All right. And then again, we get rid of this. All right. So take note of this column. This column has a password um, in there. All right. So it's gone. There's a bit of a lag. That's why I can't still see it in there. All right. So now that everything is gone, our work book is now ready for your own data as simple as that all right so you can see everything is empty so let me quickly bring back all the stuff that i took out 
all right and then let me click on refresh all because we've introduced another change and if i come here you realize everything is back now let me quickly show you how this place works all right um, from the audit checklist let's assume we did not re-register any minor non-conformance all right so everything sorry everything was actually compliant all right now that's what happens they have vanished isn't it they've all vanished because there's nothing to report on so we might as well just get rid of this one as you know these ones as well but now let's assume that we had all of them as minor non-compliance or non-conformance so we we'll just copy everything and come and paste it to the minor section and get rid of this now this is what happens you realize that all of them are registered in here as a minor non-conformance all right so once you register non-conformance it get transferred automatically here and you have the option to now select and um, the root cause and complete the action plan an action plan is simply a corrective action or a preventive action with a person assigned as a responsible person there is a deadline for closing the action and you can actually assign an action priority and eventually indicate as whether it's closed or open so basically an action plan will ind indicate the action status of it as well and all of that so that's just by the way um so i if ideally whenever you they get transferred in here they tend to populate like this you see a lot of blank rules in there because they are all based on the cell reference or the rule the entire rule within the checklist because once it picks the reference it's going to populate all the items within the rule so what you need to do now is that just make sure the blank is not part of the selection just select major and minor all right and then you cannot work with it but of course always before you do that just make sure that the blank is totally blank every time for instance now in as much as we selected blank you realize we still have some information here so it means we need to we didn't take time to actually clear the data so always make sure there are no hidden data that may potentially impact on your graph especially when you know there's nothing really to report so always just select the blank and get rid of the blank and then um, now you have major and minor to, to actually deal with so that's where you can make sure you further complete you know the the action plan so that you, you cannot do follow-up as you want until everything you know turns out to be closed like this then you know that you have done due diligence to your audits that you carried out any deviation you were able to close it out all right so this document can actually um, provide a documentary evidence of audits being carried out it also shows how you measure um, your your management system or the management system of your contractor if they are you're actually using it for a, another company you're trying to audit your supplier or something this will show that you know how to measure the performance of your of your suppliers and that is simply by using it to generate some sort of an audit score all right and we have another template that you can use to you know log all these audit score to now see the trend and all of that so that's for another video so thanks guys for your attention and um, if you're interested in this template feel free to get in touch you can always find us on www.shexel.com all right so that's basically the, the website you can find us on www.shexel.com and you can always get in touch with us we provide you know 100% support um, you, you don't have to worry about it at all you can actually open a ticket if you have a challenge you can book a meeting you can talk to us through the live chat and you can also send us an email so thanks all for joining or for viewing this tutorial and get in touch soon thank you all for your attention bye for now